don't know what he's talking about. Is he talking about confession? No, man, don't, don't confess. <laughs> no, I, 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 I think you're right. Don't say nothing. Forget OJ. Do y'all think that a man should open up to a woman? Well, I see it two ways. All right. Number one, you have to find a woman that that you can is trust. mature. Number one, right? Again, that covers all bases because right. a mature okay. woman is is not going to go around your telling business. your business or right. throwing it back in your mm-hmm. face. So, um, yo, show us out to the next video, yo. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> Think of Moe's and some Moe's. <laughs> oh, shit. Fish jump podcast. Mm. Let's go. said, men shouldn't open up to women. Oh, this is my show. This is my he show. Said, whenever something go down, they're going to throw it back in your face. Mm. Do y'all agree? OJ first. Mm. OJ oh. first. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. When you say my man OJ, women, y'all. I don't know what he's talking about. Emotional. Is he talking about confession? <laughs> <laughs> Look, he know firsthand the shit is got him. You know OJ ain't confessing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 I think he's right. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. <laughs> your, he said, don't, don't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, leave me out of the confession. <laughs> OJ said, I ain't confessing oh, this no, shit. OJ, get off the screen. <laughs> OJ need to get off the screen. Uh, yeah, look at Kim is yeah. cracking up. Oh, yeah, out of this. all these episodes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't say that. <laughs> Y'all look, he, he done lived it. He know. He yeah, know. Hey. <laughs> <Y'all> like, <laughs> oh, poor Y'all OJ. Like, they can't even get through the interview. Oh, that man is scarred. Yeah. Oh, kill a birthday. This is classic. This wine. Yeah. Oh, this is the blueberry juice that kicked in. What? He said the blueberry juice that kicked in? All right, listen, man. First, I want to I'm going to say, I am a big fan. Shout it out. is what it is, Shout man. Out to it is what it is, man. I'm a big fan. I mean, listen, I love the fact that us black men can create something and really get paid for the shit. And not only that, put your passion in your heart. Yes. And not only yes. that, like another thing that shows is like as black men, we can overcome you know different differences that we mm-hmm. might have had in the past. Because mm-hmm. yeah, them two guys for about yep. twenty years they ain't talk, they didn't speak to each other right. for different reasons. So to see them come back and make this podcast and it's, and it be successful after whatever their falling out was, like that that that's a testament to like real manhood. Yeah, it, let me give it to Cam and Mace, man. And you know, yo, they That's slid in maturity right there. And you know, what's crazy? It, when they when they came in, they got interviews that other reporters and I'm journalists. They are journalists. journalists. Hey, journalists could not get, and it was a lot of white journalists that was that was jealous, hating. Hey. That was hating the hustle and not the hustle. You know what I mean, man? It is what it is. Fire million dollars worth of game. Fire. Joe yeah. Button's podcast. I All mean, right. listen. I mean, yo, us black men, man. We we can imitate drink champs. Yeah, drink, drink champs. Yep. Yeah, I mean, look, twenty twenty four is about to be the black podcast era, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, hold up, hold up, hold up, though. OJ was on some bullshit. Yo. <laughs> Let's just get straight to it, okay? First of all, OJ Wait, was speaking facts. He was. He was speaking facts. He said, he I don't come. "Hold up," but his facts was based on his experience. Yeah. So not all women, but yes, from what I have experienced, a lot of women are petty like that. But I, mean, I wouldn't be confessing them either. Hold on, hold on. Oh, T, let me ask you. And we're going straight for the juggler. Uh-oh. You think OJ did it? Oh, man. I think water is wet. Serious, no. Do you, <laughs> do you, you think OJ did it? You no, job don't quit. fit. <laughs> the glove don't fit. You must have. Really think OJ did it? No. <laughs> He just as guilty as R. Kelly. <laughs> Damn! Wait a minute. He had to bring R. Kelly into this. Yeah, they both guilty. Look, I don't want to face the fact. I really don't. Face it. Nah, I don't want to. Who? <laughs> both of them. AJ nothing but a number. AJ nothing but a number. He also wrote the song. Number song said, 
It seems like you're ready. That I can't even listen to that no more. Like you're ready. That's just weird. But anyway, back to uh, OJ. Well, back then, then. like it, he he 80 years old still talking. Yeah, y'all yeah, know I killed her, right? Man. Uh, now, you know what? He he got away with it. But first I, of all, that that's what that laugh was all about too. I, I'm, I'm the, the way only he black laughing, man in history. To, man, <laughs> get away with murder <laughs> on a white woman. I, I don't get away with murder. I'm a, I don't think he did it, but I think he hired somebody to do it. I think OJ was right there. He might he might not have actually stabbed her. Right. Yeah. He was there. Um yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I believe he was there. I don't think he actually physically did it, but I think he was there. Like she came unconscious <laughs> and then somebody came and finished it off. So. <laughs> Damn. He was there though. Yeah, because why go on that whole that whole chase? For what? Like, what was that for? That's that's just that's just the guilt talking right but, there. But you know, regardless of all that, I we remember that. But forget OJ. Do y'all think that a man should open up to a woman? Well, I see it two ways. All right. Number one, you have to find a woman that that you can is trust. Mature. Number one. Right. Again, that covers all bases because right. a mature okay. woman is is not going to go around your telling business. your business or right. throwing it back in your mm -hmm. face. So, um, what it is is after you find a mature woman, or maybe even before. You want to make sure you're with a healed woman. Right. Because if she's not okay. healed and she has traumas or she has her own experiences or whatever, when she's triggered, she automatically she's going to yep. do. Remember you was crying over yep. there in the corner because your aunt died, <laughs> you little bitch. Ooh, yeah. That's behavior of a, a OJ person. OJ all over again. That's, a, okay. yeah, that's the behavior of a person who's not we'll healed. call that CJ. Oh, don't put that on me. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm not OJ. And I, I listen, I've had that happen to me before where I've shared things. and That's crazy. One woman, yeah, but that's a that's that the behavior hurts. of a, a people like that. Yeah. If you ain't healed, you know, Philadelphia and we're from Philly is a defensive city, and not only defensive physically, but defensive emotionally. Yep. So like the minute the, you the, say something, somebody's all automatically. I gotta like, get. Oh. I gotta cut just as deep as you do. Right. I mean, I get it. So, what, what do you think? I agree with CJ because my thing is, is like, and and I've experienced that, and not from a man, from a woman, but from a man. Yes. Do shit back up in your face. Yeah, and I'm the type of person I don't tell. Negroes. I'm the type of I don't tell my business, but here it is. I told somebody something, and here he go. He got mad and literally throwing everything up. Everything. Wow. Wow. Oh yeah. And you know anybody that knows me, my sister passed away. You know, like 15 years ago, and he literally like, how you gonna throw up? Oh yeah, that's why your sister. Yeah. Never mind. I don't want to get into that part, but because I mean, I, I come from like a military family, so you know, I mean, my my, my grandfather's in the military, my uncles are are in the military, and so it was all about men just being so stern. You know, what I mean, not letting anyone know they feel it or not letting anyone know that they're yeah, they're hurting. Have someone that so it's it's kind of like a catch twenty two because it's like as men we don't know where we should be when it comes to women. Cause it's like, you ask me, oh, you see, you not, you're not emotional, you're not affectionate, you're not this and not that. But then on the flip side, what men are, it's like, oh, you soft, you ain't supposed yeah, to be yeah. doing yeah, so. Be. Dealing with. You don't okay, know where you be. They said if you're dealing with someone that's healed, they're not gonna, they're not gonna throw that. But I'm, you know? but I'm saying sometimes it starts from from childhood. Your mama's like that. So normally they say that that like the way you grew up. That's kind of like the uh, the the man or the woman that you'll you know eventually take on. So if your if your mom if you're a man and your mom was that I emotionally I neglected, agree with that. What, because if it, I think she was the opposite, especially if my father or mother was not you know supportive or. So let me ask you a question: In your dating life, and I don't know your father, just think about your father's. We'll say his flaws or his the traits where he could have been uh, improved in. Mm -hmm. Have you ever dated a man who's had those similar traits? Um, ever? I don't have to think about that. Uh, I never uh, thought about uh, that. I don't know. Yeah, I have to yeah think. because some, you know, sometimes it's, it's like subconsciously you don't even know. Yeah, that's you, how did my head and he just like my dad. You know, let me. I, I just want to add this before we slide on. You know, I, mean, I hear like a lot of women say, "Well, you know, men are broken. Men are this. Men are that." But keep in mind that. The first woman a man encounters is his mother. And vice versa, encounters is her father. And that's what, what that's how we're taught. But, but let me just give a little caveat. It's much more likely for uh, a man to encounter his mother than it is for a woman to encounter her father because it was a lot of fatherless households. So sometimes... And fathers are working. Right. Where some women... 
the the first man they might have met is you know Mr. John, their mom boyfriend, and then this person or another uncle man, or so. Another man. <laughs> That's a little bit different in you know perspective of that. So I mean, I, I mean, on it, it's a whole lot. Yeah, it is. It is. You never it know. Is. But any anyway, 